Well guys, welcome back to another episode here of Slime and Slay Outdoors. Look at those colors. It is October 1st and I think today is my last day on the water with my boat unless I jump in with somebody else. But uh, it is definitely a bummer and it's on me. I definitely love the grouse hunting so that's going to be coming up here and uh, the fall bow hunting is going to start getting good with the rut coming up at the late October. So usually that's what it is. October 1st to mid-October sometime in there I hang the boat up and I grab the shotgun and start walking for grouse. It gets difficult after work to get out and actually musky fish and it's easier to get out and grab a shotgun and go. But uh, anyways, back to musky fishing here. We are on a dark stained body of water here today. I've got two friends with me today. Say hello to those guys, a couple suckers. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna do the old uh, troll a little bit of so sucker behind us, do some casting, we're gonna move slow. Water temps are 56 to 57 degrees. It is going to be an absolute gorgeous day here though here in the Northwoods. It might be up to 70 degrees here. So uh, we're definitely gonna enjoy that. So, all right, I'm at my first spot here. I'm gonna work a deep shoreline and see what happens. But uh, let's go see if we can stick a muskie here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. All right, guys, gonna rig up a sucker here. Hopefully this will show out all right. I think I'm going to use my littler one. Paddle down, buddy. All right, I got a Z leader here. Just gonna hook them right through the nostrils. Bam, or through the lip, I should say. And one mid back, gonna peel a couple scales off. That looks pretty good, actually. And there we go. All right, that should be good. Cool. Smoke the hellhound. Oh, yes. Wow. That was super cool. That's my first glider fish. Oh, yes. There we go, baby. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. I hope that turned out on camera. I literally had the bait sitting right below the boat and she came up and smoked it when I was just about to pull it out of the water. And I literally, I just put on the hellhound for the first cast I think of the day. So decent fish. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes, sir. First glider fish for me. That is weird to say, but I have never got a glider fish. So, all right, get her unpinned. All right guys, well we scored and uh, 
What a super cool strike. I hope that turned out on camera. Um, just getting the glove on, what a beautiful day. I'm actually already in my t-shirt. Could almost have shorts on, that's crazy here in Wisconsin. First of October here. All right, let's get the old bump board out. And uh, let's see how big this girl is. I'm guessing right around that 37 mark, I'm guessing. Decent chunky fish here. All right, that should be good. Let's hold her up. go look at that beauty that is a nice Wisconsin muskie right there all right let's get a bump on her quick and she is yep I would actually give her 37 and a half 37 and a half inch beast she's tensing up on me what a cool cool fish right there oh my gosh I love it all right let's let her go Yeah, I couldn't hang on to her. Glad I had that camera rolling. <laughs> I wanted to get a cool release shot, but when you got water temps like that, there's nothing you can do. They are going to take off right away, which is good. It's exactly what you want, a power release like that. But uh, yeah, we've been fishing for probably about an hour. Sucker hasn't been doing a whole lot. I'm um, kind of more of a calmer sucker, so not sure. Uh, hopefully, maybe we might have to switch out to the other one if I need to be, but We'll see, um, but of course, that deserves a big old slime stash because guess what? It's October 1st and I caught my very first muskie on a glider. Can you believe that? And uh, I've tried phantoms, I've tried it all, and uh, this one goes to Steve Jensen right here. He has been slamming them on this kind of color here, um, the old goldfish color, and I gave it a try this year, and I can really get these things to work. It is an awesome lure. I'm very pleased to have something like this in my arsenal um, to be able to have a glider that really, I mean, you can work it as better than anything I think out there on the market. But again, not taking any gliders away from anybody, but uh, it seems like I can work this a lot better than a Phantom and everything. But of course, everybody's catching fish on them. Good to them, but uh, got to find one that works for you. And uh, we finally did that. And uh, yeah, nothing special here, just working deep shorelines and some rocks. And yeah, we put a muskie in the boat, so. All right, suckers out there. Water temps are 58, 59 degrees, like I said. And uh, hopefully we're just at a start of a great afternoon here in Northern Wisconsin. guys like I said we just caught that fish here on a hellhound and uh, I'm gonna kind of just show you here what I was doing to work it um, of course just cast it out here and this thing is definitely versatile so I mean you can do different options here but you could do real tap taps like that you could really use the real handle if you want of course the camera's not gonna pick this up but you're doing real short taps and it's gonna be doing more tight wobbles and then if you push a big one like that it's gonna swing out like that and go really wide and uh, hopefully I can kind of get it here when it comes in. Yeah, I'm making big swings. And of course, then you could do the quick short taps and then it just wobbles going down like that. And uh, 
Of course, you got the little twister on the back. Hopefully the camera's picking them up now. But uh, yeah, I like the shimmy roll like that. Um, going down like that. Most of the gliders in the industry kind of do that. But like I said, it's so nice that you can really work this bait um, really easy. I mean, you really could just use the reel handle and I can see it flying back and forth out there. And uh, one thing nice about this uh, Hellhound too is, um, I'll just reel it in here just to show you, is of course a lot of um, baits out there, they have like a black back like that. I love that they have this white paint up on the top so you can actually watch and see how your hellhound's working. So that's a big thing, is a lot of guys can't see what their baits are doing, so they don't have confidence in it. And I have confidence I, I can actually see the glider. So this is a TR, um, Team Rhino Outdoors custom um, color here. Um, I'm not sure if you can find this on the industry, but I bought it from Team Rhino. And uh, of course the white dot like that. So, all right, well, we're gonna keep working the shoreline down, like I said, probably stick to the old hellhound for a bit and see what happens. So, all right, let's get back after it. gosh sucker hit oh i didn't have my other camera going it ran out of battery here last light sucker just got hammered and uh, i quick flipped this camera on that was interesting the bobber is what popped off it was running and i'm like why is the bobber right there but woo -hoo -hoo! last muskie probably the season i'm guessing but awesome <laughs> Well guys, it has been a grind here today. We got that fish this morning. I think I was out here about nine o'clock, nothing early. Um, it was real cool this morning, so I didn't want to get out in a rush. And got some suckers, got here, and about two hours in it, I got that one on a glider. Um, my GoPro batteries, unfortunately, um, battery pack died, and the other pack I had for some reason wasn't working. So I had the power stick with the other camera on it, but for some reason it's not charging off the boat. Just all court, of course, of problems, all sorts of problems. But uh, I knew I left it up just in case I had a sucker hit and I was going to turn it on when I did, and that's what I did there. Uh, what a cool strike! I absolutely love when they hit a sucker. I was really hoping this year I'd have it happen, um, and I did here. Probably the last hour here of my musky fishing season of 2022, unless I get out. Um, in a smaller boat or somebody else's, but uh, decent fish. 
like I said, sucker came through. It is 6.15, so it has been a grind here. Seven hours without fish, but that is fall fishing. But it can be uh, really exciting when it happens. So hold this girl up here, chunky, chunky fish, and we'll take her. All right. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that beauty. Oh, what a beautiful muskie here. And we've got a 38 incher. So 37 and 38 incher today. What an absolute beauty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Super cool. Look how fat she is. Just a chunky monkey. So, all right. She's tensing up on me. Cool water. This isn't going to take long. So let's let her go. Oh, you want to go. Ready? <laughs> See you later, girl. Stop this camera quick. Freaking sweet. Sucker scored. Oh, I'm super glad that happened. I really love when they hit suckers. That is just the coolest thing ever when you hear the go clicking out. And uh, that was an interesting one. She's, once I got close to her, I'm like, what the frick is going on here? I was like right by the bobber, but the bobber actually got unclipped, but uh, big boil and all of a sudden, boom, she took off. Well, that's when I quick reeled up and I actually should have had my drag a little bit tighter. I definitely had definitely some mistakes probably there. Definitely should have the drag even a little bit tighter. I wouldn't say it slipped, but uh, I feel like I didn't get the greatest hook set, but the front hook drove right up into her. So, hey, musky in the bag, that's all that matters. So, guess what? Slime, O stash, sucker, here to end the season, probably we got a little bit of light left, but uh, oh my gosh, what a great way to end probably 2022. Well guys, that is gonna wrap it up here. Like I said, this is probably the end for me of 2022. Uh, definitely should be fishing more, but it's very hard. I love the bow hunting. Uh, I'm gonna probably climb up in a tree right around October 20th. I've got about two to three weeks of hardcore grouse hunting now. Going to a trip to South Dakota. There's just not enough time and soon ice will be here already, so. Unfortunately, that's probably going to be the end. Uh, you never know. Might slip out in a little John boat, but probably tomorrow I'm going to be putting everything away in this boat, cleaning it up, winterizing it for the year. But what a way to end the season, though. Awesome strike. I was thinking in my head, I'm going, gosh, I really don't want to have to have this sucker left over. And uh, sure enough, we got one right there. And what a cool way. Unfortunately, like I said, I won't have when the initial strike went off. But all I did was zing out and that's when I put the camera on. The rest was all there. So quite a bit of it should be there. But uh, what a year. Uh, definitely uh, had some ups and downs. A lot of nipping fish it seemed like here in the last month. But uh, overall can't complain of 2022. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe. Until next year, Slime Mustache is out.